G'day guys. In this video, I'm going to install the Ergo mobile wallet on an old Android device to use it as an Ergo hardware cold wallet. Let's get into it. I'll begin by saying the difference between a cold and a hot wallet is that a cold wallet has no connection to a network or the internet. It always remains offline. And on the other hand, a hot wallet does. A hot wallet's often used for frequent transaction signing and whereas the cold wallet, it generally used for longer term storage. The security advantage of using a cold wallet is that you need the physical device to sign the transaction. Now that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. Here I have a Galaxy S6. It's just being lying around collecting dust and it's a great way to reuse older devices to safely secure your ERG on a hardware cold wallet. The first thing I'm going to do is perform a factory reset. I'll walk through how to do that on this device. Uh, just Google how to do it if you're unsure of how to do it on your own device. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit apps and then head into settings. Now the easiest way to find the factory reset is just search for it. So recent searches is factory data reset. And then that brings up this option. I can click on factory data reset and it brings up this prompt. It basically is just saying that everything on the device will be wiped, including your photos, your settings, etc. So if you want to back that up, now's the time to do so. So I'm going to click on reset device. Another prompt, just a warning that everything will be deleted and hit delete all. So while the device is in the process of factory resetting, we can go and download the wallet APK. Now to do so, we can head over to the Ergo platform website and then click on get erg, which is highlighted in orange up the top. Scrolling down, we can go to wallets, and this is the one we're after, Ergo Mobile Wallet. Clicking this link, it'll take us to the Ergo Mobile Wallet website. Now, if you were to install the hot wallet, you can do so through the Google Play or the App Store. And to download the APK, we do that through GitHub. So clicking this link, it takes us here to the repo. Now, as you can see, the latest release is 2.0.2214 at the time of recording. So we can click on releases. And this is the one we want here, this top APK, which is about eight and a half megabytes. So clicking on that, it downloads. And now we're ready for installation once the device is factory reset. The device is now factory reset. Now the first thing I'm going to do is place it into flight mode. This ensures that there's no connectivity whatsoever. Next, I'm going to transfer the installation file onto the phone. So I'll open up the download folder and I'll just drag and drop this onto the phone. So disconnecting the USB cable. I can minimize this and now we can install the APK file. So clicking on tools, I can go to my files. And here we have APK installation files. Clicking on this, you can see the Ergo wallet. Now for security reasons, your phone is set to block installation of apps obtained from unknown sources. So we can click on settings, head down to unknown sources and allow installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store. So we can move this toggle. And now we have this prompt and click OK. Next up, we want to click Install. And now that the app is installed, we can open it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new wallet. So now I'm on my everyday device. I need to add the read-only wallet from the cold wallet device. So to do so, I can click on the plus button and then go to read-only wallet. And then click on receive on the cold wallet. And it'll bring up a QR code. Now I need to scan that. And there we go, we've added the cold wallet. So now I need to send some erg. Scanning the QR code once again. I can send them a little bit of erg. 
for now my cold wallet has a balance of 0.2 erg. It doesn't show on the cold wallet itself because there's no connectivity. Now to initiate a transaction, I can click on send on the read only wallet. And as you can see, this is a read only wallet. For sending funds, you need a device to sign your transaction as we have. So I can paste an address in here to send some ERG and I'll send a small amount. So clicking send, it'll generate a QR code which I can scan with the cold wallet device. Now to sign the transaction on the cold wallet device, I click on send and then open up the QR code on the reader on the top right hand corner. So as you can see, we've got the details of the transaction. If you wish to proceed, I can click on confirm and then enter my password. Now this has generated the sign of transaction QR. I can scan it on my hot wallet device. And as you can see, the transaction was successful. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helps you set up your Ergo hardware cold wallet. It means a lot to me to have the extra security of storing your keys offline and on an air gap device. Now just to keep it in a safe and secure area. Take care everyone.